An online course is one of the easiest ways to both serve and scale your audience at the same time. But how do you go about creating one? In today's video, I'm sharing how easy it is to create an online course using Podia. I'm Dana Kay, and this is Branding Outside the Box, where I help driven entrepreneurs and aspiring leaders become more memorable and make more meaningful connections. Online courses empower you to help more people than you would if you only offered one-on-one -on -one services or brick-and-mortar sales. By allowing others to access your wealth of knowledge, you are serving a broader audience while increasing your revenue. Whether you're a nutritionist, a photographer, or an Etsy creator, there are people out there who want to learn from you. Platforms like Podia make it easy to create and launch your course and deliver your content seamlessly to your students. Here's how. Once you've logged into your Podia account, you'll want to click Products, and this is where you're going to create your online course. Select New Product. You'll choose whether it's an online course, a digital download, such as maybe you're only offering a collection of PDFs or a workbook, you can also offer a product bundle where you take many e-courses or a e-course plus a digital download and bundle them together. So we're going to select online course, my cool test, let's say e-course. And then the short description is getting, telling people what they're going to get out of the e-course. So this cool e-course will show you easy it is to create online courses using Podia. Create and continue. This is where you're going to add your content. This is the actual e-course portion. So if you've created video modules to deliver, if you've created links or even just plain text, all of that will be dragged and dropped here. Once you have that, the next step is to set up pricing. Here's where you'll set the price for your e-course. For the purposes of this test, we'll say 200. You can also offer a payment plan that where people can pay in installments rather than paying the whole upfront fee. You can also offer an upsell. Upsells are really great to increase the amount of revenue generated per customer. Once someone does business with you, they're more likely to do it again, and especially in the moment. So maybe you have an e-course with an optional add-on for tech support or for a membership site. You can add an upsell so that when someone registers for your e-course, they're taken to a page that says, do you want to add on the $49 a month service plan or the $10 a month membership site? Or maybe it's a printed workbook or a planner, something that would ship to them. If you have a smaller or even a bigger thing to add on and complement your e-course, it's really great to do it as an upsell. You can also create coupons. I recommend creating coupons as a way to track your sales. So for example, if you are appearing on a podcast, you can offer those podcast listeners a discount on your e-course when they use podcast name 15. And then when people are using that coupon code, you know that they came through that podcast. It's a great way to track the effectiveness of your marketing and promotion efforts. You can also use coupons for timed promotions like a Cyber Monday deal or a year end sale. The next step is to create the sales page. Your sales page is probably your most important page because that's where a customer is gonna determine whether or not they sign up for your course. So as you can see, the product name and the description has automatically been filled. You can also create a graphic or an image to complement the course. For the purpose of, purposes of this demo, I'm just going to drag one of our graphics in there. And then you're going to go back into the sales page details. So maybe you don't want just the description, maybe you want a bigger headline. So the only e-course you'll ever need to launch your own e-course. If you have a sales video introducing people to the course, you can also drag that here. And then I highly recommend adding a few FAQs. This is gonna help on the customer service side and help pe put people at ease when they're determining whether or not to register for your course. So for example, we can say, what is included in the e-course? Say seven video modules 
three worksheets and the and all the tools need to success on, on. okay save okay and then finally you can it has settings to promote your e-course. So once you promote your product, it'll show you ways to share on social, write a blog post. Podia gives you a lot of tools to make your, make your course a success. Now next, we wanna preview everything to make sure it looks okay. So as you can see, there's the graphic, my cool test course, the headline, people can purchase. What's included is where your where your modules or your workbooks and things will be. The FAQs, and as you can see, my storefront information, which I'll show you how to populate later, appears at the bottom. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling, the buy link remains the same. This is really important because you don't want them to have to find the buy link um, after scrolling all the way to the bottom. So as they're reading about your e-course, they're considering buying it, okay, after the FAQ, they're ready to buy, and they can purchase right here. Now at the bottom of our test e-course, you saw a little bit more about me and my headshot and links to my social page. That's where your storefront comes in. Your storefront is the place you can direct people to that has all of your e-courses, or if you don't currently have any e-courses, it will give you a lead generation tool. So it'll let people sign up for wait lists um, or just say opt in to receive the latest updates. So your storefront name could be your name, it could be your brand's name, it could be something quirky, but as long as people will recognize it, you should have your tagline and a little bit more about the bio, the where, this is the links to your social platforms and your website. You can also have the option to show the bio in your storefront. So if you don't wanna show your bio, that's totally fine, I recommend showing it. And then also in the storefront, I recommend having lead capture because maybe they don't like the courses you're currently offering, but they're interested in future courses. You want to get their email. As you can see, it's super easy to launch your e-course using Podia. I think it took us less than five minutes. Now here's what a finished course and a finished storefront look like. So as you can see, this is my storefront. It has my headshot, my tagline, my bigger bio my website and my various social media buttons. These are the courses I'm currently offering. And then an option to sign up for my email list. Now let's dive inside the personal brand masterclass. So as you can see, there is my title, my tagline, the buy button. This is the bigger description. People can learn more about what they're gonna get in the course. There's a little box about the bonus. And then now you can see what's included, nine videos and three files, and there's a content. So they can see actually each of the video modules, how long it takes, and if there's any worksheets to go along with it. So they can see everything they're getting before they buy. This is really key. Here are my FAQs, and again, my bio and everything reiterated at the bottom. So as you can see, it's a really clean look the sales page is super easy to set up. You don't need a lot of bells and whistles. And it looks, most importantly, it's very easy for people, your potential students, to use. And it took us less than five minutes to launch that e-course. Technology shouldn't be the reason that you don't launch an online course. Whether you're doing video modules, audio lessons, or even plain text, Podia makes it so easy to finally launch your online course. If you're ready to start your free 14-day trial of Podia, click the link in my video description or head on over to brandingoutsidethebox.com slash Podia.